Right, hopefully the lighting's not terrible, um, but I'm going to be doing a short little video on this 3D printed blanking plug. Now, this was sent to me by Steve from the Nuclear Family, but he didn't actually make this. I'll put a link in the description to the eBay page it's from, but it's from 3D Design UK. So basically, what this is meant to do, and I'll test it to the best of my ability, is obviously work as a blanking plug, as in block off a side of a mask that you're not using if you've got a dual port mask, for example. Now, I know a lot of people have said before that you can't 3D print stuff like this and make it airtight. I don't actually know the specifics of that. It might be just certain types of 3D printer, because I've had people say you can, people say you can't. But from what I understand, if you're doing stuff like this, it has to be done well. So basically, this is what it looks like. There you go. So it's, you know, just your standard NATO threaded blanking plug. So how it works is obviously there's an official Avon one there. It basically does the same thing as that, so without the voice diaphragm on it. So you basically just twist that in. It's got the little bit to twist there. And that should make it airtight. So let's give it a test. So I'm not going to be doing like an odour test or anything. I'm just going to see if it stops me breathing. Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah. My ears pop, so yes, that that definitely works. So it's obviously much cheaper to buy one of these from the eBay seller I'll link to than the um, official Avon ones. So basically, that's the difference. And the Avon one does have a little voice diaphragm in it, so it's actually fairly good. But most nations, when they do blanking plugs, don't do them with. Um, you know, voice diaphragms and they're just simply there as a blanking plug. And I know this is one of the things that people ask me a lot, you know, I bought a two filter mask, you know, I only want to use it one filter, where can I buy a bank blanking plug? And for ages you couldn't really get them unless you spent loads of money for like, just, you know, something like this. So yeah, I'll link to the eBay sellers thing. As I said, as far as I can tell it does make an airtight seal, um, but you know, like I said, I don't really have any way of testing it with like, you know, any specific sort of pressure testing equipment to see if any air seeps through. But in theory, I guess as long as the plastic's thick enough and well made, it shouldn't, you know, cause any issues. Because obviously, these ones are simply just, um... Let's see if that actually rotated off there. Look. These ones are essentially the same thing, but they just have a voice diaphragm little bit inside them. But, um, yeah. So there you go. Compared to the real one, obviously it doesn't have the, um voice emit a bit in it but like I said I've bought masks before where they've just provided blanking plugs which is actually quite rare because one of the nice things is sometimes when you buy a new mask even if it's only a single filter port mask sometimes they actually provide them with a blanking plug in the mask it's like you know to take off before you put the filter on which is quite nice because then it's a spare um, I have made my own blanking plug before which I can show you if it's nearby I'm not sure if it is or not no, never mind, it's in the other room, but yeah, it's the one I made for the Chinese one that's in Ghost, because basically with that one, I had a Ghost repair kit, so it had, um, like, rubber valves in it, and, um, like, rubber discs, rubber valves, and, um, you know, like, Ghost threaded bits for, like, making the hoses out of, so I got one of the hose mount ones, and then basically put some of the rubber discs inside, then put silicon adhesive on each side of it, so basically it ended up just gluing it together, you know, being a solid block of rubber inside a metal threaded screw. And that seems to work absolutely fine. It doesn't look very pretty, but it does actually do the job. And that's what obviously I wanted it for, was just so uh, I can blank off dual filter ghost masks if I don't want to wear them with two filters. But anyway, there you go. So, as I said, compared to the real thing, you know, I'll just put it back in to show you. And it'll keep it in the mask and I'm not using it that way, I won't lose it. So there's the official one. That's that screwing in. And there's this 3D printed one, and yep, and there's that screwing in. And I said, you know, it, it seems to work absolutely fine, so there you go. I'll put a link to the eBay sellers page with them for anybody who's interested, because as I said, um, it can be quite difficult or expensive to find real ones if you're not lucky enough to get a load when you're buying masks now and again. So anyway, um, have a good day everybody, and um, yeah, see ya.